Hello, this is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can get us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com and you can also reach us at 618-235-6959. Today I want to show you uh, what's considered a box phone or a chest phone and it's by Decotel and Ted sent this telephone in from uh, New Jersey and we um, have done an earlier video of this telephone and someone had been into this telephone and uh, there was a big mess here with some wiring and uh, some some wires were marked uh, the bell wasn't connected so they were searching for a problem basically and the bell wasn't even connected so basically we worked on the bell and got that working and we also added a cap we cleaned up the mess of wires here and also moved uh, the modular line and port coming in that somebody installed over to this side of the network where it used to come in was by this bracket and it was uh, plastic tied to this bracket and the wires were uh, leaning up against the bell and the modular port uh, was stuck in, in the side of the bell here and kind of the wires ran across the top of the bell and over to the network or just flipping around um, and connected here uh, to the line on the uh, network. But anyway, um, we've got this bell working and uh, installed a cap for it and we're going to go ahead and ring the phone now. This is kind of a check, uh, final checkout. We've done an earlier uh, initial checkout of the telephone with the things that were wrong with it and now it's repaired and we're just doing a final checkout of the telephone now. I'm not a real big fan of these bells here. I like the bell that was in the 2500 set. But these bells were sufficient, they just weren't like the 2500 set bell. I'm going to give it a couple more rings since that's what we were having a problem with. I'll let it go one more time. And you can probably hear that dial tone. I do have to open the, the box to get the uh, receiver. But anyway, um, that gives you a little look of it cleaned up a little bit and some things squared away. We also went into the uh, rotary and uh, got that clean and um, making sure everything, all the numbers hit properly. And uh, so let's pull the box down a little bit so we can get to the telephone. We're going to go ahead and dial our numbers here. I'm going to end up with a 2. And I'm going to speak into the handset. And every time you see that red indicator light, light on the uh, Analyzer, you're going to notice it's 100% modulation. <whistles> hello, hello, one, two, three, four, five, six. So we know this telephone is working, and uh, we're going to switch it over to a regular line, and we're going to call, say, like a time and temp number. So now that we know that this telephone is working, um, we can contact the customer and let them know that their telephone is working. And I think Ted's going to be pretty happy about that because uh, he uh, likes this telephone a lot. And I think it's a cool telephone. Uh, a lot of collectors are after these box or chest telephones. And um, they make for a nice uh, telephone. This, this one has the dog and... Um, duck scene on it and um, it's a molded situation uh, and 
it, it's pretty cool. Uh, I've worked on a, uh, quite a few of these through the years. I, I have worked on the dog and the duck before many times, I believe, but I haven't seen this exact one, I don't believe. Um, I know there were some touch-tone ones, and maybe that's the ones I've worked on. I can't remember every telephone. I've worked on thousands. And uh, this is the rotary one. So uh, it's a cool phone. It's a cool find, and uh, it's a keeper. So uh, I hope you enjoyed the checkout video. Uh, the telephone is finished up and repaired, and uh, we'll get it off to Ted here. Thank you for watching, and have a great day.